Okay, for these tutorials, we're going to be having a look at the new Dreamweaver 2021. Um, the first tutorial is going to be just giving you some ways to set up. Some. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create new. That's going to be a document. And you can just press create and it will give you a nice blank page. Now, things to notice, we've got code. So this gives us the code. We can split it, as you can see the code at the bottom, and the live at the top. We've got live, and that's uh, something a little bit different than we've had in the old versions. And we can also switch to design. So if we had just the design view, it will be very similar to what we've used in the past with the old Dreamweaver version. Okay, let's move that over to the side. What I recommend you do is I need you to go in and we're going to put the properties back and you'll have noticed these in the original Dreamweaver. So here we've got our HTML, our CSS, for our design over here. This is where our files are. So if you wanted to do a new file, we'd go to manage sites, new site, And then go and find it. Okay, so there's nothing in these at the moment. I've just set up um, apart from the buttons, so save us a bit of time. Everything is empty. It's the CC libraries. So these are ones that I've gone in and downloaded. So I've got Adobe Color, and that gives me a variety of different colors. Just click on it to go back. Uh, there's a quite nice one. I quite like the neon one. All right, so you can import these into your pages. So they're uh, free tools that you can collect. Yeah, and click on that, you can go back. Web gradients. It's a different style. So when you click on it, you can copy the information and you can paste it in time. Here is where we're going to insert as we're going along. So this is a little bit different. So when we're on the pages, we can insert our images. We can insert, we've got down here, rollover images when we're doing our navigation buttons. Um, iframe for when we're going to export. Uh, animations, videos, email hyperlinks, lots of different things that we can insert. And obviously we've got the CSS designer when we're creating um, CSS fonts, for example, and we can save them there. So I'll show you that as we're going along. All right, so in here you can do different types of headings. So this is heading one. Okay, so the headings are over here. The heading one is the larger size. All right, and as you notice, the size is getting smaller as we go along. Etc. If you wanted to insert an image, so you can just click on image. So hypothetically, you just grab an image from here for now. All right. And you can resize it down the bottom on your designer. So if I did 200, let's resize the height for me. You can insert a table. So three rows by three rows, and you can have different border thicknesses. And you can see where the different header you want is. Do you want none? Do you want a header on the left, top, or both? That's up to you to design for your page. I tend to have zero for my border thickness. And like normal, we can resize our page. If I show you how to do some of the CSS library, so for example, I have to do, if you have to go back to the live,
so I've been able to save the image. And able to use the birdhouse in my website. It has to save it, otherwise it's going to be searching for it each time. All right, but save it in the right place. Okay, so that's how you bring different images in. We've got uh, the different headings. We've got a table. And we'll go into actually creating a website in the next tutorial.